Hello everyone, my name is Mauro and today we are going to be upgrading the SSD on the ASUS <laughs> GL502VS and I just opened this and it looks like they dropped something on it let's check if it's okay so the plan is to it has already sorry the 256 GB SSD has already been cloned to this 256 GB Crucial M4, which is quite a, oh man, quite a few years old. Okay, so there, you, I, I think you guys got a good look at that. I'll be able. To, I think this will make for a good RMA like proof thing. This looks unscathed. The rest of it is really crushed. Which is sort of lame. Acronis. Yeah, do not use Acronis. It is butt. Okay, let me put this over here. And I just dropped that there, didn't I? Mm, spec the back of it. Teeth front it looks fine to me this is a 1050 gigabyte ssd so since when you like partition a drive you lose like so a true gigabyte is actually a thousand twenty four megabytes right but the way hard drive slash ssd manufacturers like do this they don't give you the 1024 megabytes to make a gigabyte they make you a thousand megabytes and call it a gigabyte so well, that's why when you format something you have less than what is advertised because it's actually being formatted to a thousand twenty four not a true one thousand or whatever so this is a thousand and fifty and since what is it ten twenty four ten twenty four we're actually gonna have more than a terabyte of space after this is formatted I think so like I said, this has already been cloned to this, so I am going to change these two temporarily. There's nothing, I've already tried this before, I tried it last week when I went and bought the Intel 600P. I bought the Intel 600P, unboxed it, looked at it, and I was like, you know what? No. I think I would much rather have a thousand well I think I would much rather have a one terabyte SSD that runs slower this is gonna run a lot slower I don't care I'm not gonna be able to notice it I am a consumer not a data scientist or a for a deep learning like algorithm developer I make video games but that's like I don't make tough video I'm not making years of war I'm making fucking flappy bird in my spare time as a class we're probably making something a bit more complex okay. this has been working pretty good the two terabyte hard drive I've noticed some slowdowns in a few games but in my opinion it's a worthy trade-off what would make like a bit more sense if you're not so like crazy about storage or if you don't want to have like 20 or 30 50 gigabyte games on your on your laptop at all times which is not what I want I just I don't want to have to have a bunch of stuff crowded on this desk more than there already is there's already a bunch of junk on here
And then to remove the SSD drill sample, it's just one, it's literally just one um, screw. And then this is just like memory. This, you just pull up a bit, don't pull. Just let it pop up on its own. And then it should come right out. There you go. And fingers crossed. I hope this thing boots up in here. Because I do notice that this has, I mean, this has two openings here on these teeth. And this over here only has one. Um, I bought it because I'm pretty confident that it's going to work. Because review units for other, well, not other, I'm not including myself. Review units for sites, like the notebook check review I mentioned in one of my videos, it had a SATA based M.2 SSD in there, as opposed to an NVMe based SSD. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it is going to boot right up. I don't think you guys want to see the rest of this, so SSD is installed, second SSD is in there to try to clone from this to this, this to this, and hopefully I'm trying to find another piece of this Hynix memory, but on eBay someone is selling it for $85, which is ridiculous, so I think what I'm going to do, if I notice that people are buying that, I'm just going to sell this for 80 bucks to undercut that jerk, and just, and just buy a, a full 32 gig kit. Because I'm trying to keep it compatible. I don't want to mix like Hynix with Crucial or Hynix with Corsair. I don't know if Hynix provides there. Uh, I don't know if Hynix provides like memory modules to Corsair and Crucial. I think Crucial has their own stuff. Because Crucial is a big time memory, you know, manufacturer and stuff. So that's pretty much it for now. Just wanted to show you guys that upgrade. And I'm going to be making, this afternoon I'm going to be making FIFA. I made Mirror's Edge and that is uploaded, so it's going to be FIFA and I think Wolfenstein has not gone up for this. Something else. I was going to upload something else. I did Crisis. Someone requested another video, so I'm going to do another request that someone said. Put it in there tomorrow, so. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, so now I remember. Someone wanted to know how the fans are getting air. So in the bottom, if we put that on there, you can see that there really is not much, there really isn't anywhere for air to go in. There's only like exhaust. These little grills are kind of open, but I don't think that's where these are getting the majority of their air from. Or maybe they are. I don't know. It's been working fine for me. So thank you for watching. Please hit like if you liked it. Hit dislike and let me know in the comments how I can improve the videos. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. I think we are up to 41 or 42 subs, which is a lot better than when we first started making the um, Asus videos, Asus videos. The guy had six with the Alienware. And ton of tons of views. I think I'm at like 10,000 views or something like that right now. Or maybe that's only in the past month. And I think it's, I've been at it for two months. So maybe I'm definitely getting up there. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one.